Alright, so in this video, we'll be going over how to create hyperlinks in the Graphics Builder. Once you've opened up the desired graphic, go over to the Graphics Builder menu to your right, and under the Tools section, you will see an option called Add Hyperlink. Go ahead and click on that button to bring up the Add Hyperlink form. In this first section of the form, you will have several applications to choose from. In this example, I'm going to be creating a hyperlink to another graphic, so I'll go ahead and select the Graphics app and hit OK. In this next section, you will be able to select how many graphic hyperlinks you would like to add or create. So you can adjust or type in whatever amount of hyperlinks you want to make there. On this example, I'll be creating two of them. So I'm going to select two and hit OK. Next, you'll be able to customize your hyperlinks. The first setting to the very left allows you to choose between an icon and a button. The second setting in the middle allows you to choose whether your hyperlink will take you to a specific graphic or if it's going to be a relative hyperlink. And the third section to the very right allows you to add a label or title to the hyperlink button. So in this case, I'm going to make my first hyperlink button specific and I'll title it home. And I'm gonna make my second hyperlink relative and I'll name it floor plan and then I'll hit okay. So now in the final section of the form, you can pick and choose a graphic destination for each one of your hyperlinks. If you chose to make a specific hyperlink, the first drop-down will be populated with the list of all your published graphics. You may select any one of them, which will in turn populate the second drop-down based off of any equipment related to that graphic. So if I were to pick the HU graphic, for example, the second drop-down will have multiple HU equipment that I can choose from. And since it's specific, you can only choose one. But in this particular example, I'm actually going to be selecting my city center site graphic, which does not have multiple equipment. If you chose to make a relative hyperlink button, you will have one drop down to choose from, which will be populated with refs based on your current context. What I mean by context is that if you look at the top right corner of my navigation, you can see that I'm currently on VAV03. So this list is actually being populated by the refs available on that particular equipment. And since it's relative, after I create the button and view this graphic on a different equipment, this hyperlink will look at the ref to determine which graphic it's going to take you to. So once you're done, hit OK, and the form will automatically create some nice looking hyperlink buttons for you to place anywhere in your graphic. Once you've arranged them on your graphic, the last step is to test them out. So remember to save your graphic, then go to your nav menu, locate one of the equipment that have the graphic, and open it up. For this example, my first button was set up to take me directly to the city center site graphic. If I go back a step, my second button was set up to relatively look at the floor plan of the selected equipment and take me to the rel related graphic, which in this case is floor 1. If I go now and open up a different VAV equipment that's on the second floor, the floor plan hyperlink will relatively take me back to the second floor. Alright, so those are the basics on how to create a specific and relative graphical hyperlink. Now remember, we always recommend using the magic bubbles as your main form of graphical navigation since Finstack automatically creates them for you as well as the fact that they come with so much more than just a graphical hyperlink, saving you all the work of having to manually create a hyperlink on every individual graphic. But of course, the hyperlinks can come in handy in certain scenarios, so on Finstack 4.0 we've made it as easy as possible for you to create them. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the details discussed in this clip, please contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.